What's going on? Welcome back to another Foxtech video. And today we're going to explore how you can use keyboard on messages on your Apple Watch. Typing on a, such a small screen might seem challenging, but with a few tips and tricks, you'll find it easier than you think. So first off, let's address the common concern about typing on the Apple Watch small keyboard. While it can be tricky and you might mistype occasionally, practice, practice makes perfect, just like with all things. And the built-in keyboard on the Apple Watch supports both tapping and swipe typing. You, all, I mean, it's also known as the flick keyboard. Personally, I find the swipe method much more efficient. By swiping across the keyboard, you can quickly form words without lifting a finger, which can be quite handy on such a small device. Now, to use a swipe gesture on your Apple Watch keyboard, simply drag your finger from one letter to the next. The software will try to predict the word you're trying to type, which makes it a lot faster than typing each key individually. So give it a try and you might find that it's actually more intuitive way to type. Uh, you should know that if you're having trouble accessing the keyboard, it's likely because of your language settings. Not every language is supported by the Apple Watch keyboard. If the keyboard doesn't show up, the issue could be that your current language simply doesn't support it. To fix this, go to your iPhone settings, tap on general and then keyboard. From there, add English or another supported language to the list. Once you've added a supported language on your iPhone, it should sync with your Apple Watch. Meaning that on the watch, you can make sure to switch to the supported language for the keyboard and this should make the keyboard available in the messages app too, which can allow you to type the messages easily. Without it, you are stuck with the dictation, scribble feature, which can work well as, uh, I mean, too, like it can also be a great way to type in text, but if you want a keyboard, you need to have a supported language for it. So hope you found this video helpful. If it did, make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I'll catch you in the future.